Hi everyone, a uh, very quick uh, look at the circuit, uh, circuit what we've done. So in it's, it's an example circuit that I've solved. So we, we were looking at this circuit and we were, uh, we wanted to find IR, the current passing through resistance 60 ohms. And we have to make sure that at zero minus, uh, the current is to the resistance R is zero, zero milliamps. And at zero plus seconds, which is just right next moment, it is 10 milliamps. And then when it has been settled in a steady state, the current has uh, reached a steady state, it should be four milliamps. And at 1.5 milliseconds, it was 5.34 milliamps. So just quickly, when we looked at this circuit and we have simulated it, uh, the explanation here is this. Is, so uh, if you look at the steady state, actually this is a steady state. So first of all, quickly, this is a steady state and we bring in the cursor here and we see that it is four milliamps. And then the next thing, which is of uh, very much importance right now is zero minus and zero plus seconds. So this is our plot. I'm bringing in the cursor here. Okay, here's the cursor. You see at zero minus second, which is 999.9 milliseconds, the current is 166.65 nanoamperes, which is like a zero. And at the very next moment, when it's 1.0002 second, the current has become 9.999 milliamps, which is 10 milliamps. So at zero plus second. Now, based on the same thing, exactly same thing, Within the lab manual, we have this, this configuration, this circuit. And here the answers are like current one, which is through 90 ohm, is to 0 0.24 e raised to the power minus t by tau. And the current through inductor IL is 0 0.36 e raised to the power minus t by tau for t greater than zero. Now here time greater than zero means zero plus. I mean, you could also assume for the purpose of simulation, you could assume uh, to prove this answer that it is zero plus, which is this second, you know, it's just a little bit beyond 0 0.1.0000002 seconds, so two nanoseconds, and you have the value. So when you are simulating this circuit, all you have to do is to take your cursor at the moment when time is zero. Uh, look at this equation, as we see that the current through one is dependent upon time, right? It, it's the e raised to the minus t over tau. It's very much dependent on time. So how we would like to verify these answers, which are very much generalized, you know? So we are looking at time t, tau is given as 20 microseconds. So we can assume that t as zero plus second, which is zero. So when we put e raised to the power minus zero, and we solve this, we, come, we, we are left with 0 0.24 amp. And for this, we left with 0 0.36 amp. So this is one way to solve it, you know? Just look at time is equal to zero plus. And it still fulfills our requirement of t greater than zero. The second way to do it is to choose a time. So for example, in this simulation, I would just choose some point, you know, uh, let me just, okay. So I'm, I'm defining this plot over here a little bit more, but just before it settles down. So I'll take any value at any given time. For example, this, this, this much seconds. So at this 1.0014 second, I'm saying that my current is 5.47 milliamp. So when I'll draw, the, when I'll simulate this plot and after I've built it, I'll take any value at any given time, for example, this time, and then I'll put that value of time here and find out if this current that is calculated is exactly the same as this one. This is the second way of doing it, all right? So what we do again, we quickly would take any time value and find out the current within our plot and take that time value t is equal to whatever it is, put that value here and solve this equation, solve this number. And then we have to make sure that I1 is same as, as, it, as it has been here. That's all, nothing more than that to solve uh, this very circuit, all right?